That was Madeni Party by our upcoming sensation, Bad Boy, Cipriani. Living local. Welcome back to Living Local, it's your boy Local Fingal. Right now we are here for the celebrity profile, the local celebrity profile segment of the show. We're here with none other than upcoming artist himself. He had a great season this year, Mr. Irfan Alves EA. I'd like to thank him for coming through. We have a couple questions to ask, we're going to see what's going on with him. Was this seen Regin? Cool. Thanks, cool. Yeah. All right, mad. Hey, what's going on? So we just check out your profile and we see that you see you wanna um you wanna take soccer to the next level. You wanna assist in any way you can to take soccer to the next level. You know how you plan on doing so yeah. in this industry that's so competitive. Uh, yeah, well as I say the most important part is uh, to assist because you know no man is an island and nobody can do it on their own, right? Um, you know, coming up, not really upcoming as I said earlier, but you know, doing my thing for quite a while. And really getting a, a little break for myself in 2012. What I really plan to do, you know, is just continue in my own unique style, my own way. To really um, assist her taking the flag outside by the ways of really um, well through my writing and, and performing and so on. But in, in, a, in a unique manner, in a different manner, um, we look where the technology is becoming more advanced in terms of global communication, right? So really? through like little things like Facebook and YouTube and Twitter. You know, networking is very important and also linking up you know certain new trends where we have like you know big up the beats by truth where we could partner with little things like that and, 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 and we could find little ways of uh, uh, sending my message out and sending their message out you know so just just focusing on anything you know looking at it from outside and really seeing new ways uh, uh, of doing it because you know soca has been here for quite a while and and still you know we're not really seeing it moving up fast enough so i believe like you it's like myself and, and others are coming up like Chucky Kierich, uh, Fede Voice, uh, Kim Basozano, Man, really, we, really, we really you know? see a lot of young artists like that. They they getting into the video aspect, they getting into yeah, the social media aspect. Yeah, all those little things. Yeah, you know, just stay, keep keeping a constant grind. So you know, with that, you know, things will come to you. like you know, recently I had a stint on MTV um, Biggie, where I was the artist of the week. You know, congratulations. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's something we wanted right? to talk about too. Yeah. So yeah, well, that came. They actually um researching so and with that they realize that who is this little kid doing his thing you know representing standing up against all the prominent artists who are already you know in the business and they contacted us email said they want to do a feature and from that they I think they feature like 10 artists from around the world right and I happen to be one of them who made it to the top five so people um, was able to vote and whoever got the most votes and also but they become the artist of the, artist of the week and they had a tell, tell it all interview feature where, where I won. So it's really nice. No, that's real excellent, you know, and the fact that you had to win that through votes shows that you have a, a steady fan base. You have a lot of people yeah. rooting and supporting for you. Yeah, big up to everybody who supported for Fun you know, and Super. It's really nice. Nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. I Alright, little friend, you know, we understand that on top of your own individual projects, you assist in a lot of background work, a lot of background materials, singing, songwriting, and helping in the assistance of production and stuff. Who are some of the producers or maybe artists that you enjoy working with on a lot of successful ventures, past and present? 
Yeah. Well, from the early days, you know, I sat it off because, you know, I used to be involved in Calypso a lot as mm-hmm. much, and not, not as much um, currently, but, you know, back then coming up. Um, you know, Ken Booker, Ivo, Joey Rivers, um, DJ Darrell, you know, and as, as we grew in the business, I met with David Millian, Casey Phillips, uh, Colonel Roberts, a lot of producers. And, well, only recently, like 2011, in the middle of 2011, I linked with Casey Phillips on a writing basis. I used to work with him like we met in 2009. But in terms of writing, precision, for, right? Yeah, precision production. We got Casey in the connection. But in terms of um, writing for other artists, like started in the middle of 2011. And actually, the first the first song I can remember releasing that I wrote on was Do Afraid by Marshall Montana. Right? It's a um, big tune. Come Easy Marshall. Do Afraid. And we'll be sending them out to him, but usually. And most times you'll find them changing it up, probably send it to another, one, another writer to you know, tune up a little bit. So Marvin Davis did something on it also and he actually um, added his own flavor in the chorus and so on. But um, in terms of the production aspect, the last song I produced was All Over Me. That's a song I released in 2011. You know, people go on YouTube and check it out. And also did a remix of Problem Child. But now as I got into the writing much more, I kind of fall back on the position. Hopefully, like next year, in the middle of next year, I'll plan to um, open up a studio at home and kind of go in in that aspect of it. But for now, just in a performance and I think. That's good stuff, good stuff. Mm-hmm. We look forward to some of your material for the yeah, future for sure. and 2018 Carnival. I'll show you, don't know. Yeah, we even, we're not even thinking that oh, far. Boy. I mean, it's a couple of Vinci Mars, um, St. Lucia, Grenada. As you're so, speaking about that, you see, we, we, Sources have told us that you travel up and down the islands. Where have you seen? Where have you been so far? To, where have you been so far? You know, performing. Yeah, um, well, I went to Barbados and Antigua so far. I was supposed to go to Dominica, but that show is postponed. So later this month, I'll be going there. Um, maybe go back to Barbados to finish up some work with King Baba. You know, look out for a track. If by the time track is not released when this interview is out, call. Um, like a vision on the crazy job with them. Mm-hmm. And besides linking up with um, Roots from Grenada, doing some work with Leo Philip, um, with the Mezzo team from St. Lucia. Um, it just, it just uh, Antigua, I did some writing for T on Winter. There's a new song called Body Up. And so, um, St. Lucia wrote a song for Tennyson called um, Land of Wine. So it just it continues grind. It might be looking like if you know if and I was sleeping right now, but I just do a lot of work in the background writing and shaping up some of the music for other people and probably by the middle of June should have some interaction with me. Alright, lastly dear friend, what do you think in Trinidad and Tobago could be done to, you know, more educate the youth? Do you think enough is being done to educate the young people about soca, maybe even calypso and, and their local culture music wise? Um, I won't say nothing is being done, but I believe you know, personally I think more can be done, and especially in primary and secondary schools. Um, we have social studies, you know, everybody do social studies, but that's where they tell you about. But I believe it should have a class like, let's say, culture class, or you know, like Calypso history class, you know, where they can actually break down the history of Calypso and how it has developed and the influences and so called. So, you know, some little things like that, and maybe that could really influence the youths to have a, a greater appreciation for local music, you know, simple things like that. That's my personal point. Of view. For real, for real, I have to agree. You know, we have a real rich culture. It dates yeah. back from the fifties and sixties, all yeah. before that. Coming up to now, present day, we still building culture. We making new names, new faces, such right. as yourself. Yeah. Okay. Fire wrong now. We have a last bit of questions for you. It's the most serious questions there, so be ready. Be ready for it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Jesus Lord, look back. All right, back here. Wood. Ideal Sunday lunch. Go. Some people might consider this ideal, but pale hours with a little avocado on the side of vegetables and coleslaw. Uh, but for me, pale hours, very good. Pale hours? Yeah. Coleslaw. Veggies? Avocado on the side, on the plate. Fair enough. Okay, when you're not I, shelling I, down I, I, the I, I, stage, when you're not shelling down the stage, what does Ufran have to be shelling? That's what? Let's go, come on, roll, right, roll, roll. Alright, alright, alright. All right. I'm going to the studio, I will. If a beautiful lady catches the attention of the In Your Eyes Banton himself, Ufran, as EA, what could she expect? Where are you going to take her on the date? What, tell me, talk to me, Trinidad style. What does go on? Okay. Well, I'll take her anywhere she want to go. 
So if she wanna go, choice. if she wanna go, if she wanna go to the pitch lake and not a little too far, or if she wanna go nah, bri- like no, down the islands yeah, or something, nowhere too far for me. Nowhere too far nowhere for you. Going, yeah. EA to make them things happen. She must go home too. You gotta be leaving she eyes for a little while first. No, the point is not to believe in eyes, Mister Finger. What? You didn't listen to the song. Hey, break it down quick for we quick. All right, be living in the eyes too long. You know? mm-hmm. You can't take it literal, you know, it's a little twist it, you know, you can't believe in the eyes, I mean, you can't believe in the lies and the little the, the deceit, I mean, it, it might come to you and it's a nice pretty face, nice pretty body, mm-hmm. pretty ways. We all get catch. The point is not to get catch. Ah, boy. Good. Lastly, when you're here, when you're here living locally, tighter, easy living locally, you can give me the sign right there, cross your chest, you know, it's the best. Easy living, ah, boy, living local, yeah. When you're here living local, what's the first thing that comes to mind? I mean, I just think of a fool in a, a yellow polo and a black shade doing a TV show. Is he thinks that's chaotic? This was chaotic. That's living up. Good fun. No, nah, but you know what? Passing through. Tan, take a century and stay now. Just um, something like this a TV show presenting everything local. Trinidad and Tobago, whether it be the food, the culture, you know, the music, parties, as you mentioned, parties, big up wine about entertainment, you know. He's even living there. local, beads, art and craft, big up beads by chuff. Oh, for friend, by thanks for passing through the celebrity profile edition. Fingal, oh, oh, friend, mm-hmm. blessings. We'll see you next time. Excellent! Excellent! All right. Eh, Jesus, Jesus playlist. Have two private riot mixes, eh? Come on up the suit. This is DJ Private Ryan and I'm picking up Living Local, the best TV show on TV right now. Bless. This is Living Local. Respect, always, love. When you get large, you know, when you're small and medium. Point and wine there. Eh? Oh,